a historic moment here in Tyendinaga Mohawk Territory near Belleville, Ontario. The Federal Minister for Indigenous Services meeting with members of the Mohawk Nation. His task, a difficult one. Minister Mark Miller must work to repair strained relations that have resulted in ongoing rail demonstrations across the country. On a bitterly cold Saturday morning, the minister arrived at the CN rail tracks on Wyman Road to speak with the community with no expectations of how this meeting would go. I'm here to discuss peace and friendship um, with a bunch of people that haven't felt part of this um, part of this country. Um, they felt like allies at times and they've been betrayed. A short prayer to start the meeting and a gift from the minister to the Mohawk people before the conversation began. There's a great deal of fear by my people because um, your country hasn't treated us very well and they've um, they've caused us a great deal of harm. There's some concern that uh, maybe there's a, there's a trick, that there's a desire to come here to talk, but there's an alternative plan. And we hope that that's not the case. The meeting comes as the blockade enters its 10th day. Similar rail demonstrations have been set up in B.C. and Quebec. Indigenous groups protesting in solidarity with the hereditary chiefs of the Wet'suwet'en First Nation in British Columbia, who oppose the development of a natural gas pipeline that would cross their traditional territory. And as you're aware, the people said, uh, we don't want any trains passing through here until uh, the RCB removed themselves over there. The combined protests across the country resulted in Via Rail suspending all passenger service and CN halting freight operations in eastern Canada. And some Via Rail employees have been laid off in Brampton, Ontario. The union fearing the disruption could result in as many as 6,000 layoffs across the country. That in addition to potential supply shortages of essential goods. All of Canada is hurting, but we can't move forward without dialogue. And that's what we're going to do today. Can you say anything about how the meeting went? We'll talk later. After an hour, the meeting moved indoors to the nearby Mohawk Community Centre, where no cameras or reporters were allowed. Now, at this point in the late afternoon, the meeting is still underway. There are about 80 members of the Mohawk Nation present in a closed room with Miller. Now, what if discussions fall apart today and the blockade isn't removed? Well, Miller did not want to speculate on what would happen after that. So, of course, both sides hoping for a peaceful resolution to a situation that has left the country very much divided. In Tyendinaga territory, Erica Natividad, City News.